host Sheree Moore bringing you another hair video. I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair after taking out four week old twists. Twists are a great protective hairstyle that allow me to give my hair a break from manipulation so it can grow. I'm super ready for a new look so let's get started. First I'll start out by taking my twists out. My hair is actually still manageable, soft, and moisturized. Next, I'll section my hair before getting into the shower to wash my hair. Squeaky clean and ready to strengthen my hair with Apogee's two-step protein treatment. apply the product to each of the four sections of my hair. I try my best not to apply it to my scalp because it can cause a lot of sensitivity. I always use protein treatment before straining my hair because it allows it to become very strong, reduce, and even prevent hair damage. Next, I will air dry my hair and use a hair dryer according to the instructions. <laughs> and um, I believe this will help the protein treatment to penetrate my hair shaft. Once my hair is dry, I wash out the product and my hair immediately starts feeling stronger, healthier, and curls are popping. Afterwards, I'll use Apogee's Balancing Moisturizer and Maui Shea Butter Conditioner. This will help to deep condition and bring back the moisture to my hair. In my applicator bottle, I used water, and then I applied both of the products to each section of my hair. Next, I place two shower caps to trap the moisture into a lot of products to seep into my hair. So while my hair is deep conditioning, we'll have a short intermission. And I made a smoothie with whatever I had in my fridge or my freezer. And surprisingly, yo, it came out really good. Um, like super good to the point I'm going to drop down all of the ingredients I used and you guys can see for yourself. <laughs> so I washed out the moisturizer and the conditioner out of my hair and now I am ready to apply Tresemme's heat protectant spray and also coconut oil. Next, I'll apply the heat protectant and coconut oil to each section of my wet hair. I've been using this heat protectant spray forever, and it does a great job at protecting my hair from heat damage up to 450 degrees. Um, not only does it do a great job at that, but it also smells amazing. Now it's time to blow dry. I will use my Revlon blow dryer that I've had forever. And I'll also use my Denman brush to help me blow dry through each section. Whew, and this took me a minute, people. <laughs> versatility of black hair so much volume and thickness and length Ay. next I'll use my Remington strainer if I can even show you guys right <laughs> I've been using this strainer for a few years and it has been nothing but great I'll start off with 390 degrees setting and use my rat tail comb I'll start off with the lower right side and take a smaller section of hair from the bigger section. 
Then I'll use a hair thing to separate my hair from the hair I'm straightening. To prep my hair, I'll use the heat protectant. Um, I'll also use my brush to detangle my hair as much as possible. And I'll use my straightener and comb at the same time in order to get my hair as straight and smooth as possible. When straightening, I'll start at my roots and then make my way to my ends. because it has ceramic plates providing less hair damage and consistent distribution of heat. It also heats up really fast so when you're ready to use it, it's hot within 30 seconds. Sometimes if needed, I will restrain my hair with two or three passes or I'll turn up the heat a little bit or to another section that I already did in order to get my hair as straight as possible but always I will reapply my heat protectant. Sweetie and Kiss and I made a video about it and I'll link it straight to this video so check out my review for that. Right? Uh. 
here. Alright. Let's see what's going on right here. Oh, we done. Oh, yeah, we done. We done. We done, we done with the process. We see what's going on. We see you, Sheree. We see it. Enough flossing. I, I get it. You, you did your thing. And I'm going I'm to tell you. You did that. You did it. Look. Look at you. Queen. Queen C, not B. I'm talking about Sheree. C to the R, to the C, to the Reigns B. Let's get it. Video was done. Y'all saw what happened. Y'all see the finished process. Come on, man. This is Mac and me. Percent. Yeah. She did it. Once more time. She did it. I'll see you guys later. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Adore Sharia Moore. Bye. Do you, all, do you all read about this or hear this? That you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night. and visualize seeing yourself as. Yeah, I would visualize. Uh, yeah, I would this visualize. This is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying, you know, I like your work or whatever that is. and. And uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever. Drive home and think, well, oh, I do have these things. And they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered. And I gave myself uh, five years or three years, maybe. And, uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995, just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make $10 million, dollars, 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 dollars.